Today, I am going to take you on a little mini tour of my pin boards. I've been talking about it for a long time, and you guys have been asking for a full-on tour. So today, I'm going to start with just my pastel rainbow collection. So let's take a look. Okay, so here's my whole wall. It's not actually everything because I do have a couple of Eda bags going right now. But we are going to go all the way up here, standing on my couch, so apologies if it's a little wobbly. Um, but this is my little rainbow pastel collection. So this one is mostly actual like unicorns and rainbows. And then this one just gets into more of the pastel rainbow palettes. So we've got, starting up here... We've got Unicorns by Pepsart, Kawaii Goods, and Artwork and Cute Things. Look at the iridescent glitter on all of these. This one's huge. I don't know if you can tell. It's incredible. They're so cute, right? Look at that. Love them. And then I've got, this is my rainbow cat. Little cloud cat. This one's from Punky Pins. We've got a couple from Big Bud Press. And then down here we've got Joanna Behar. This one's so glittery. Look at that. And then this one is from Luella. She doesn't do pins anymore, but she does fun t-shirts. And this big, glorious one. I really want you to look at this one because this is soft enamel with the um, the metal is dyed white. Look at the texture and the colors in this one. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It's by Tiny Deer Studio and Lisa Chow. They collaborated on it and I adore it. Um, we've got my catacorn. So I talked about the difference between these in a couple of my Pins 101 videos. There was one anatomy of a pin and I think I did uh, like how to choose what to make. I think it's in that too. But if you can see, this is soft enamel with epoxy. This is the first go round. And then I decided to make it bigger and go with hard enamel. So you can see the difference. This is also my most boot like pin. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> but I think it's cool to see the difference between the two. And then below we have more rainbows. This is by Tony B. Um, she is mostly an illustrator now and her style is super cute. And this is by the Pulp Girls. I just really like this one. It's such a sweet sparkly one. And I got this at Craftcation last year. I taught there last year and it's this amazing like uh, super long weekend of just making crafts and learning about business and it's super super fun. Okay, let's get back over here. This is my snow cone pin. And then this one was from the original pin club. I can't remember the artist, but I'll put it down below if I can find it. Pin club still has um, a shop. They don't do the monthly pin club anymore, but um, they do have pins for sale, which is fun. We've got Eric Bukima. There's a lot of his stuff here. This one is too. This one's Christmas, but it had to go on the little rainbow board. <laughs> and then we've got Miss Kika, some little heart-shaped balloons with cute details as always. And then I've got my balloons. I did this for a pin club. I'm thinking about making it a little bit bigger and re-releasing it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Uh, I really like it. Um, we've got some Sugar Nova. I've got a matching one over on the other board too. And then these last three, this one is by Amy Rose Studios. We collaborated. You can see there's some iridescent glitter in that. And I have some Sunday cats. I wasn't quite sure where to put them, but it seemed like there were enough <laughs> rainbow colors in it that it, it could live here. And this one, I believe, is from Lucky Dip Club. So that one is super fun. I have to put it... Yeah. All my rainbows. Okay, moving on to board number two. I'm just gonna go through the two of them today because I think they fit really well together. 
some more pastel rainbow. We've got maybe's pin up here. I love the details that she has with the little raindrops. It's so perfect. And then we've got, we'll come around this way. Another Miss Kika, Miss Kika, Miss Kika. <laughs> I really like the details in the cutouts of this one. And you gotta focus. There we go. I just think it's so pretty, the little, all the little cutouts. And then to go with this pastel pizza, this one, Pizza Cake ah, by Lux Cups, of course. And this is another little cake. This is from Betsy White. She does mostly lettering and illustration now. Um, so I'm really glad that I got her stuff when I could. And then a couple of dongos. This one's by Natel. And she's part of Shop Shoal now. And this one's by Helen Butcher. And then this is Jade Boylan, because I'm a sucker for any kind of 90s <laughs> uh, pins. I have to have it. And then we've got some Tokyo Bunny. So cute. And this one's by Punky Pins. This is another one from Pin Club, uh, the original Pin Club, which was awesome. This one's been uh, bootlegged quite a bit as well. I can't remember the artist, but I'll try to put that one down too. And then, let's see, where should we go next? Let's go here. This is Chic Kawaii. Um, she has the most, just the cutest 90s pastel stuff. She also did this one here. Look at that Polly Pocket with a little gem. Oh, it's so good. Okay. More Miss Kika. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a fan? Her stuff is so cute. Um, this one's by Wandering Orion. I adore it. It's another one that's been bootlegged a bunch, which is such a bummer, but I think this one's so cute. I love the colors. And then we've got another Punky Pins. This one's also Punky Pins. And another Lux Cups. It is a rainbow unicorn cupcake with glitter. Like, come on. This is my Wink Pins, another bootlegged one. You guys, don't buy pins on AliExpress. Just don't do it. And then here's another one by Jade, little Polly Pocket, like I said, sucker for 90s. Let's see, what else do we have here? Here's a little Miss Kika, that was super cute, like a little mermaid wand. This one is from the pin department, and she sent these out to her clients. I think it's so beautiful. Another Sugar Nova that matches the cell friend here. It's so cute. Mm. A little Eric Bukima again, Christmas. Don't care. It's up all year. This one's by Cool Queen Collective. Look how huge that one is, too. And the, like, the little glitter. So pretty. And then the last couple, we've got Unicorn Crafts. And this one's by Kristen St. Cat. So there they are. Isn't that fun? I love this little collection. I'm always looking to add more, so please put suggestions down below. <laughs> okay, so that was my pastel rainbow collection. If you like this video, let me know. Give me a like and subscribe and all that stuff, but let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video because I'm happy to go through my whole collection like this. I figured it'd be easier to break it down into colors and themes. Um, I'm switching out cats. I know. Um, as opposed to doing like a whole big long one, I swear it would be an hour long if I went through every single pin that I have. So, um, let me know what you think down below. And if you found some new makers that you're obsessed with, let me know. That's my favorite thing. And I'm always on the lookout for new pins. So if you are a pin maker, put your stuff down below. I would love to look at your shop. And yeah, I hope you liked it. And I will see you next week. Okay, bye!